Hey everyone, this is Ted from Tedswick Emporium. Welcome to my short review of Avery by Henry Mago in color 88GR. Big thank you to Hairway UK for sending me this wig for an honest review. You can also save 20% off by using coupon code TEDS20. I will leave all of the details in the description below so you can check that out later. Let me guys give you a spin so you can see what she looks like on all sides. This is my right hand side. From the back and the left. Okay, so this is a really cute short bob with loads and loads of texture and raised ends. You might not uh, initially see that, but look how many different layers we've got here. So they kind of go right under your chin, frame your face, hide some of those um, double jaw lines sometimes if you suffer with one. Now, what's really exciting, guys, this wig comes with an extended lace front. And I kid you not, guys, it is beautiful. Look at that. It comes all the way down to here. The lace is really, really well done. I think this is very similar to Ellen Villa lace front. The ear tabs come right down to here, so it's just enough before it becomes too long on me. But nevertheless, the coverage on there is really, really good. So if you're trying to change a color, go for something completely different, and that will give you a really, really good coverage. Now, this wig comes with a middle part, Although at the front, it is quite generous where it meets that extended lace. So that gives you the possibility to have a slightly off-center parting. And there you go, guys. So you can have that slightly to the right or slightly to the left. There isn't that much... Um, area to play with so it would only be right here at the front but as parted in the center this is what you would see so a very nice very believable parting really well done all of the knots are very tiny so really really pretty pretty style so i think that the bangs are just long enough so that they don't end up in your eye so with this length it is just perfect to um, brush it onto the side let me guys give you the measurements next so the bangs measure eight and a half inches so it's quite a long bang the crown measures between four and ten and a half inches because of all of those raised layers here all over the sides measure six and a half and up to nine and a half long nape measures four inches so overall this is about 11 inches just above my shoulders the fibers itself feel extremely fine to um to the touch feel like a very fine um human hair there is quite a few little flyaways um you can use a little bit of a product uh, maybe the tressel or wig wax um you can use john renault styling paste just to add a little bit of more texture and i think with those raised ends that would really add a little bit more um, style as well this is an average size cap in circumference it fits me quite snug but as you can see guys there is a lot of spare material there there's a lot of wefts there so this is good news for people with um, slightly bigger head sizes there is enough stretch to accommodate 
for quite a big range of head sizes as you can see guys now because this is a middle parted style there will be some permities right here on the top and again because this is a, a low density piece permities in this case are required to um, mainly hide all of the wefting and also give shape and lift to this style before we have a look at the cap construction let's talk about this beautiful um, color 88gr this is very similar to john renault's um, shaded pralines and cream so just to give you an idea guys this is 1426s10 um, by john renault compared with 88GR by Henry Margot. So the numbers sound very different. However, they are quite similar, although 88GR is considerably um, more lighter than the shaded pralines and cream. The proportion of that very pale, light, golden blonde slash light auburn um, is definitely more significant um, compared with the shaded pralines and cream. The base on this, I would say, is very similar to number 14, which is a strawberry light brown. What I really like about this color as well, guys, is that rooting. This is what the GR stands for. I think it's called gradient rooting. Um, a medium brown. It looks absolutely gorgeous against that overall base. It blends so well, you can't even notice where that root starts and ends. And we're also getting those lighter pieces right here at the front so that the lace front looks spotless. This color is also lighter at the ends, so there's a tipped effect right at the bottom. I think that looks really, really cute. It's like a sun-bleached blonde at the bottom. Let's have a look at the cup construction. So here is our extended lace front then graduates into that middle part. That's about, I would say, an inch and a half all the way back to here. The area here of the wefting consists of permatease that are also found right here on this strip along the back of the cup. And as you can see, guys, this is a really, really stretchy cup. We are getting an extended nape with the Velcro adjusters and a lovely soft felt um, covered ear tabs with the metal stays and they are nice and firm. Okay, for a quick styling option, guys, because this is a very short style, um, it's a little bit too short to wear in a ponytail. You can just about get enough there. You can most definitely um, pin some of those sections here on the sides using little clips. This is also a good thing when you're trying to train your um, fibers to stay away from your face. Really nice little look. You can use a headband as well and with that extended lace that looks really really pretty. Now if you wanted to use some product you can certainly do that just to give it a little bit more texture. So I'm going to use some wig wax here by Tresselor. So that really texturizes the hair as well. And it smells gorgeous. So don't forget to shake it. Just tease some of those layers. You can definitely have a very chic look. So let's have a look what this color looks like in the natural daylight. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.